Yo, what's good people, it's that GTLD and I'm back on your screen with another one, man. Now today, I'm gonna bring you guys the night method, all right? What to do before you go to bed to one, make sure your waves are ready for bed, and two, to make as much progress as you can. I told you guys in a previous video, which was the morning method, that I do most of my work in the night because I'm a night owl, man. I, I don't, I'm not a morning person. I don't like doing too much in the morning. So I do most of my work in the night. So I'm gonna show you how I do that, all right? Simple, so make sure you smash the like button in this video. I know it's gonna help you out. Let's get 15 likes in this video. I know we can do it. Make sure you subscribe as well. We're almost at 200 subscribers, so let's get it. And make sure you click the bell so you get notified next time I drop a video, man. And let's get straight into it. You know, you know. Let's go. You what do for detail house and a plate of food. Fair, 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 don't make the news. That's right, that's right. Alright, so let's get straight into this video, man. So just a little bit of context. I actually washed my hair earlier already. Um, so my hair's not fully dry right now. It's still a little bit damp from washing my hair before. So let me show you guys what it's looking like right now. Boom. But what I'm about to do is pretty normal for my night method anyway. Sometimes I'll vary it up. Um, sometimes I won't do the full method, but essentially in the night, I just like to moisturize my hair and then brush it. I like to moisturize it and brush it. So I moisturize it, then have a brush session. That's what I tend to do in the night, man. So when I moisturize my hair, I use the LCO method. That's liquid cream oil. I've done videos talking about moisturizing in the process and how to do that. There's a video up here as well, which is gonna tell you how I moisturize my hair. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just show you what my night method is, all right? Just show you what I do if I was to use the full LCO before I go to bed, all right? So, the things that you're gonna need for this video, as always, you're gonna need a hand mirror, all right? Don't be brushing without a hand mirror, big mistake. A hand in hand with your mirror, you're gonna need a brush, all right? So, at first, I start off with my Royalty Medium Hard. You know what I'm saying? So this is my Royalty Medium Hard. Then from there, I move on to my Tremere Long Handle Medium Brush, you see it? Come on, man. Boom. And then I finish off with my Tremere soft brush, man. Right there. Now, if you guys want to buy these brushes, links in the description below. Um, and links in the description for all the products that I'm about to show you guys. But Tremere brushes as well, Tremere.com. Tower D20 for 20% off is lit. So next, you're going to need the actual products that you're about to put into your hair. So product number one is my Auntie Jackie's Leave-In Conditioner. You see it? It's called Quench, I think. Yeah, Quench. Moisture intensive leave-in conditioner. This stuff is legit, man. It's the truth, trust me. It's wavy. Next, I use this cream of nature um, mousse. It's like cold quenching foaming mousse or something. I don't know. Hey, coconut milk or something like that. This stuff, I've recently started using this. And when I do a full LCO, this stuff is amazing because my hair doesn't like too much product in there. I find that my hair always looks and feels healthier when I'm using moderate amounts of products and I'm not using too much. And this is quite light. Um, this is a light product, so it works really well for me, man. And then finally, my argan oil. You boys making a hell of noise. Why they... Shut up. Shut up. No, shut up. <laughs> Bro, are they, are they killing each other outside? Hold on. Anyway, so last thing that I'm gonna need, last product, is my argan oil. You see it right there. Seal it all in, you know, nice and easy. Add some shine in there, we good to go. So I'm using this, this is just basically a spray bottle with hot water inside it just to put the moisture in before I put anything else. And then the last things that you're gonna need are your plastic bag and your D-rag, man. Simple. So that's everything you're gonna need. Let's get straight into how to use them. I love Chris Rich. Thank you. 
Chris Rich. Okay, so camera turned off, but we back now. So I'm done now. Um, I already brushed for my wash day, so I really only brushed for about half an hour in this process. Sometimes I'll go up to an hour. Normally I'll put like TV on or something and I'll have that on. I've been watching Smallville. Let me know in the comments if you used, if you used to watch Smallville, man. I'm on like season eight, so it's getting closer to the end, you know what I'm saying? But I normally put like a TV program on and just be brushing while that's on, man. So before I know it, I've been brushing for like an hour. I didn't even know. So yeah, man. But this time I only really brushed for like up to about half an hour. Um, so yeah, you guys can see what we're working with right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the do-rag on. So really, when you're brushing, you saw that I used the medium hard, then I used the medium, then I used the soft. The longer my hair gets, the more I'll spend time using the medium hard, and I might even incorporate the hard into it when my hair is really long. But at this stage of where my hair's at, um, I used the medium hard to brush in the product, um, and then I'll brush for another like five minutes with the medium hard after that. Then I go in with the medium. I use the medium for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then after that, I go in with the soft for about five minutes just to lay it all down. And then the plastic bag as well, just to lay it all down. And that's about it, man, you know what I'm saying? Whoop de whoop. Uh, D-rag on, you know what I'm saying, boom. If you guys don't know how to tie a D-rag properly, I see a lot of you, your, your D-rags are looking higgy hacker, man. So video in the top right. We're doing the top right for how to tie a do rag, man. I give you different styles as well, so you really have no reason to have your do rag looking higgy hagger. I don't want to see it no more. You understand? People's do rags up here on their head. I don't want to see that, guys. I don't want to see that. So, yeah, man. And um, you see what I'm doing now? Just stretching out. 
stretching out the tires. I think that's what we're gonna call them, the tires. Just to make sure I don't get lines on my forehead because no one has time for that, man. But boom, you see that? Clean. Look how clean that do rag application is. Look at it. Look. Oh man, I wanna see all these wonky do rags, man. I wanna see that. Boom. Little pull down there. Let's get it tight at the back as well. And we're good to go, bro. That's it. Night method done. Um, if you want, slap a wave cap on top of that as well. Double compression, you feel me? Boom. And you get to go, man, that's it. So listen, I gave you guys the keys, man. I showed you guys my night method. I showed you the products and I showed you how to use them to make sure that you are making progress every single night and you're protecting it, saving that progress before you go to bed so you wake up wavy as hell and it's a maintenance thing when you wake up in the morning, do you know what I'm saying? So if you wanna see that morning routine, there'll be a card in the top right as well for you to go check that out. Make sure you smash the like button on this video. Let's get 15 likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe as well. We're almost at 200 subscribers, so let's get it. And make sure you click the bell so you get notified next time I drop a video, man. It's been that G-Tow D, wave to the world, and I'm out.